Welcome to the latest RGN Quick Play. In this episode, we're going to look at one of the early submissions to the C64 Shoot 'em Up Construction Kit Compo 2020, Cynthia in the Cyber Crypt by Eleanor Burns. However, Cynthia is not your ordinary c game, as Eleanor has produced a platform arcade adventure style of game that sets a new benchmark on what can be done with the old and limited gaming engine. Controlling Cynthia, a humanoid robot who is on a mission to locate and save her creator from a new humanoid model that has gone rogue, we start off by coming across a blocked access with a question mark icon in front of it. And all we need to do is simply find the object that will allow us to break through the blockade by placing it where the question mark is situated. So let's see what we can find. Pressing the joystick button will invoke the pickup action. Let's grab this rope. Ah, here's something that looks like it can break down the blockade. Okay, we move over the question mark and click the joystick button to use the sledgehammer, and we have broken through. Before I'm moving further, I'm going back to pick up the fire extinguisher I saw early on. We now come up to a fire hazard, and luckily we have something to deal with this. Cynthia offers a casual level of difficulty that makes it accessible. None of the game hazards are too difficult to get by, and Cynthia's jumping range is quite generous, avoiding the need for frustrating pixel perfect jumps. You'll be going backwards and forwards throughout the game world as you come across new puzzles to solve and then going back to the locations you've already visited to collect the right item to place there. Given the game world is not too large, this doesn't prove to be too taxing, ensuring that the motivation to progress through the game remains high at all times. The use of high-risk allows for some detail to be included within the game world graphics. And Richard Bayliss's backing music soundtrack is superb, which is why I've recently been using it as my intro music for my videos. When you complete the main game, you will be given a password that will allow you to access the epilogue via separate load. And caps off the game in a great fashion, but I'm not going to spoil it for you here. Go on and grab your copy of the game and enjoy what it offers. Well done to Eleanor for pushing the SEAC engine past its use by date. Okay, let's see what everyone else can do with the engine now.